Let me show you what I think is one of the most practical and time-saving uh, new features in PowerPoint 2010, and that's the ability to do screen captures from right inside of PowerPoint. Let's go ahead and shut this down and come to this new PowerPoint presentation. What I have is a blank slide, and let's say that we're doing uh, software training, and I want to do some screen captures of the software screens. And let me show you how we that happens right here inside of PowerPoint. So we go to the Insert tab, and then you see here's a screenshot feature. And when I click on that, I have two ways that I can bring files uh, or screen captures into my slide. One way is to find the open window. So whatever windows I have open, uh, those will show up here. And the other is to do a screen clipping of the screen underneath my file. And uh, basically what happens is it shuts down the PowerPoint slide, and then uh, you can capture whatever's on your computer screen. Um, so let's do a let's do this. I happen to have this articulate engage file open, so we're going to import that screen capture into the slide. So it's just a matter of clicking on it. It automatically brings it in, and at this point I can edit it. It's just a regular graphic. So um, let's say I wanted to do some software training and point things out. So I can just create uh, arrow keys here, or little arrows, and format them. And this is, to me, is a lot nicer than what you get with something like Snagit because I get the full range of working with PowerPoint and, um, and everything that PowerPoint gives me. So I can create some really nice graphics, put clipboard on here, whatever I want to do. And if I wanted to, then I can uh, copy these all, right click, and then I can actually save that as a picture. And then I'd have this total screenshot with all the PowerPoint objects on there as well. Um, let me go ahead and delete this arrow. Uh, the other thing is I can, once I bring it in here, let's say I, all I wanted was the toolbar. Just double click on it. I go to the crop tool and then I can just crop that up to what I want. And, um, and now I have my toolbar and it's cropped. And again, I can save it as a picture. I can make it larger. I can uh, focus on things, whatever I want to do with that. And so that's a pretty powerful feature. So let's go ahead and delete that. The other thing I can do is if I go to insert screenshot, what it's going to do is if I do screen clipping, it's going to shut down the PowerPoint screen. It's going to let me capture whatever's on the computer screen. Uh, unfortunately, you kind of have to be set up for that because if you aren't set up for it, you can't move windows around and you'll see what happens. So I'm going to click on screen clipping and as you can see, the screen kind of whites out and then I can uh, grab a part of a screen. But I don't, I can't really move anything around, so I either have to grab it. Or let's say I'm just going to grab the, the, this part here. As you can see, I don't really have any editing uh, capabilities. So if I didn't want this, uh, one is I can crop this, or I would have to, again, go back here, uh, do it again, and then um, be more precise. Um, but it's a nice feature either way, so you can do a screen grab of uh, something that's on one of your open windows or do a screen grab of uh, your, your computer screen.